Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. So this is the 11th part of this crash course series in which we are discussing expected questions for environmental science entrance examination. So in this unit we are discussing about the environmental chemistry. So let's get started. The first question is the nitrate causes the methemoglobinemia by which of the following method? So here you can note that nitrate are the reason for methemoglobinemia. And the correct option will be option number C. Yes, these nitrate oxidize the hemoglobin present in our blood, which results in the formation of a different kind of hemoglobin called as methemoglobin. So it results in the formation of Fe3 plus ions instead of Fe2 plus. The next question is COD, which in case is not cash on delivery, it is chemical oxygen demand, is always what? We have to compare with the BOD that is biochemical oxygen demand. So here the correct option will be option number C. Yes, the COD that is chemical oxygen demand is equal to or higher than BOD because BOD means the amount of oxygen required to break down the organic material present in the given water. But COD considers both organic and inorganic component so it is always higher or equal to the BOD. Let's move to the next question. The next question is the chloride is formed when a chlorine atom. So the correct option will be option number D. Yes, chloride that means the Cl minus ions are formed when chlorine atom has acquired an eighth electron from other electron or other atom with less electronegativity. So jab chlorine jo hai eighth electron gain karta hai to make the octet form from another atom of less electronegativity then chloride ion is formed. The next question is which of the following is not true about the sedimentation process? So here you have to think carefully. The correct option will be option number B. Yes, sedimentation jo process hai, gravity plays important role because the gravity if it is more then the sedimentation process will occur faster and centrifugation is also a technique for sedimenting the our required elements but it is not a chemical treatment it is a physical treatment so this option which is not true is option number b let's move to the next question the next question is which of the following substance is generally not considered as toxic the correct option will be option number b yes the carbonic acid whose formula is h2co3 is not considered as toxic because it is present in our human body to transport carbon dioxide in the blood let's move to the next question the next question is Identify the incorrect statement about the carbon isotope. And here the correct option will be option number D. Yes, the carbon 13 isotope is less abundant in vegetation but more in the ocean. And carbon 12 isotope is abundant in nature. Carbon 14 is also absent in fossil fuel. But Carbon-13 is not used for carbon dating, instead carbon-14 is used for carbon dating, so which is incorrect is option number D. Let's move to the next question. The next question is, the biodiesel in India is mainly produced from which of the following plant species? Among the four, the correct option will be option number C. Yes, the Jatropha plant species is used for biodiesel formation in India. So the seeds from the fruits are collected and they are crushed and the biodiesel is formed. Let's move to the next question. The next question is related to water pollution. Black foot disease is caused by which of the following? This question has also come several times in net examination. And the correct option will be option number C. Yes, when the content of arsenic is higher than its usual desired amount in water, it causes a disease called a black foot disease. Time for the next question. 
The next question is when a solid becomes liquid at its melting point then what happens to its entropy or temperature The correct option will be option number B yes the entropy which is called as degree of randomness or disorderness increases as the solid becomes liquid at its melting point because we can see in this picture when the substance is in solid state the atoms are tightly packed so they are not able to move but in case of liquid state the atoms are having many free spaces between them so they are loosely packed so they move randomly and their disorderness increases so that's all in this part of this video stay tuned for further updates those who haven't subscribed the channel till now please subscribe and hit the bell icon